26 hundreds of nursing homes providing poor care and telling no one. A report put out by Pennsylvania senators named three facilities in our area, two in Westmoreland County, the other in Pittsburgh. Two more Westmoreland County facilities have been warned. And that's where Channel 11's Melanie Marcelco joins us live tonight. And Melanie, these nursing homes serve hundreds of people. Yeah, David, and some of the local leaders that we talked to today, like Senator Kim Warren and County Commissioner Gina Sorelli, say this report is alarming when you talk about the safety of our seniors. They also say it's pretty scary for those families of those loved ones that are in these nursing homes, ranked as some of the worst in the country. A secret federal document kept hidden for years has revealed some of the worst nursing homes in the country. The bipartisan report was released by Senators Pat Toomey and Bob Casey. It lists 400 nursing homes with serious health and safety violations. Three on the list are in Westmoreland and Allegheny counties. It's concerning for Westmoreland County Commissioner Gina Cirilli. I commend Senator Casey and Senator Toomey for protecting our senior citizens and most importantly for the senior citizens that are in nursing homes that may not have a voice or may not have family friends there to look out for them. They're being categorized as underperforming and documented a pattern of poor care. The Grove and Latrobe and William Penn Care Center in Penn Township were named in the report as nursing homes with systematic shortcomings and in Allegheny County, Cornerview Nursing and Rehabilitation in Homewood. And this is an opportunity for the nursing homes to fix the issues that they have. The senators called out CMS or Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services for the lack of oversight and transparency. Toomey and Casey took to Twitter saying families deserve to know when selecting a nursing home that it has shortcomings and they need as much information as possible. And I reached out to both facilities in Westmoreland County for a response to that report, but I did not get a call back from either. We did find out that those two facilities in Westmoreland County were just hit with some sanctions last year, totaling more than 40 grand between the two. Reporting live in Westmoreland County tonight, I'm Melanie Marcelco for Channel 11 News.